What is it? It's heroin. Heroin. <laughs> <laughs> heroin or morphine, I think. No, not really. No, don't drop it. Have you been using them long? What? How long have you been on them? Never had them. Do you want to see what it smells like? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how? Go on your shoe, Mary. No. Have you smelled them before? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, did you drop one? <laughs> did you drop one? Oh, no, let me drop one. Oh, nice. Drop one. Oh, yeah. Is he selling them? No. Oh, he's got one leg to drop on the thing, please. Pardon? Not working. Oh, it is working now. Don't get it on your shoes. It's very dangerous. Is it? What's dangerous? It's very dangerous if it gets on your skin. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you think it's a bit dangerous giving it to your enemy, then? No, I'm only through this. Who's your enemy? It's only through the little one. Douglas McClay. Where about Steve? Look, it's down there. It's down there. Who, who's your enemy?
Here we are in Hyde Park. Dosses and high pack. <laughs>
Come on, talk to each other. Can you do anything like that? God says, study to show thyself or prove unto God. When we tell a story, we tell a good one. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That is exactly Now, First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, chapter four says this. But I would not have you to be able to brethren if you don't do that. Concerning those which are asleep, that ye saw not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. Now we which are alive and remain yes. under the coming of the Lord well, shall not prevent you, them which are asleep. <laughs> For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, yes. with the voice of the archangel, yes. and with the trump of God. But his mother descends in Ireland at the moment. Shall rise first. She's appearing in West Cork. Then we the which are alive and remain <laughs> shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Ahead of it. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. No, she didn't wait for any but time. You never be with any Lord, you silly idiot. surgery in Morocco about a couple hundred years ago. <laughs> you know about the Renaissance, how, how, how the Europe came out of the Dark Ages. You know, there's a period called the Dark Ages, okay? Now, the Jewish scribes who were in, in, uh, in Spain... It's debatable, okay? Let, let's be honest, it's debatable. I mean, she, she looks a happy lady, but she looks a happy fat lady, right? No. <laughs> are jolly people and you are um, you know a, a kind of jolly woman and the very fact and I, re I respect your courage to have uh, you know in got yourself involved it's a very dangerous thing getting yourself involved in my meeting um, and I dare say that if I wasn't me if I was you down there and I saw me up here I'd be very scared indeed and I'd want to find a way out of it just as you are now but um, I, I want not. you're not well that's <laughs> because yeah, but that's because you're American. It's, um, you know, sort of oh, explains it a bit. That is the highest <laughs> compliment you could pay anyone. I'm sorry. I am a Canadian. You are a Canadian. I'm a very proud one, thank okay. you. Okay, same sort of thing, isn't it? Now... Before Trudeau, the former Prime Minister of Canada, became Prime Minister of Canada, he came over to England's Speaker's Corner, listened in my meeting, was influenced by me, went back to Canada, and became the first six maniac Prime Minister. <laughs> I'm sorry? You're still trying to heckle me, are you? I'm a maniac. Ego. Ego. ego man. Maniac. I'm an ego maniac. That's incredible coming from a Canadian, isn't it? <laughs> now look, look, uh, you are an ego maniac as well. You felt out of a thousand well, people the here the necessity <laughs> to participate, which is not a bad thing. I respect you for it, okay? But the one thing I will not respect you for is gorging yourself on dead flesh all your life, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm, being, I'm being very serious now. I was like you, well not as bad, but I was like you, about six months ago. And then I eliminated meat from my system and look at the happy sexual, sexual thing at the <laughs> resembling George Michael. I must, be the, I must be the envy of so many men here. Now, uh, it is quite correct, you're quite correct in what you say, I, I am a kind of ego maniac. But I must say that I think that that wouldn't really be fair to define me in those words because all of us here are desperately trying to, uh, you know, recognize our potential and express it. And I don't think that there's anything to be faulted in doing that, providing, of course, you do it well, as well as me. Now, I'm serious. So, what I'm saying to everybody here is recognize your potential if you have 
um, a talent, expose it, explore it, expose it, develop it, cultivate it, use it, and then you will become a more harmonious person. But I'll tell you one thing, having said that about ego, I feel more concerned about, uh, not so much that, because I can see there's always a kind of attraction to white people and, and less noisy people than myself, but I think that it is important to think about the environment in که باید نصف جمعیت ایرانی رو از کار بندازه این چادر چیه؟ که زن ایرانی رو باید در بست خونش بکنه و نظر تکون بخوره یک نیروی کاری تحلیل بره آخه مگه میشه یک اجتماع قدرت اقتصادی بسازه با نصف نیرو خوشحالم بودیم که یک کابر از میانمون رفته چرا؟ چون دوباره روی اون سنن اسلامی سنتی که هنوز سر و دشت معلوم نیست آیا باید دنبال روی این سنت باشیم یا دنبال روی اون سنتی که میگوید آزاد باش All 